Alright boys, we're just hours, just hours away from the Mexico-Sweden match. The match that will define it all for El Tri. Either history or failure. Fracaso. Because if Mexico loses to Sweden, it, it's, it's it. That's it. It's over, man. It's pretty much over. And defeating Germany, shocking the world and defeating Germany in that first match of the group stage will be nothing but a, a good memory, a great memory. And that's all it would be. But I'm confident that the boys know what's on the line. They know it, man. This group, this group is different. This group is ready to make history by winning all three games in the group stage. Nine points. Let's qualify to the knockout stages. Let's face Serbia. Let's face Switzerland. And let's get to that damn quinto partido. I am confident these boys know what's on the line. And they're going to get it done, man. These, these guys are dreamers, man. They, they, they believe in themselves. And you can't convince them otherwise, man. They believe that they're good enough to win the World Cup. And why the hell not? But let's not get, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We got these guys, man. Sweden to face off against and this is the predictions video it's a short video but i hope you stick around i hope you enjoy it and i hope you leave me your prediction so let's get it started the lineup man what should we expect from juan carlos osorio some crazy rotaciones i don't think so although i wouldn't be surprised but i really don't think so i was listening to espn deportes this morning i heard He's coming out. Juan Carlos Osorio is coming out with the same exact lineup that we saw in that first match against Germany. So Ayala would be making his way back into the starting lineup. We would uh, bench Edson and then you have Salcedo taking the right back position once again, which Salcedo played a, an amazing match, man, against Korea. One of the best matches I've ever seen him play, if not the best match I've ever seen Salcedo. It, it, was, it was crazy. He blocked like nine shots, insane stuff. Salcedo is going to play the right back position, though, according to these to these uh, reports from ESPN Deportes. So not too many lineup changes should be expected. Although I did hear David Feitelson on Football Picante last night uh, throw something out there to the to the extent of Chucky Lozano possibly getting some rest this match. I sincerely doubt that, man. We cannot... We cannot sit Chucky down, man. We can't sit him down. Not for this match. It's way, way too important. So, let's get to it. My prediction for this match. At first, it's gonna be a, a it's gonna be bottled up. It's gonna be tight. There's gonna be tons of emotion, tons of tension, nervousness. But then El Tri is gonna bust it wide open. I predict the final score of three to one. In favor of El Tri, baby. It's going to be like that last, the, our last World Cup match, uh, the, the third match against Croatia. You guys remember it. El Tri won that one 3-1. They were, they were up 3-0. Uh, Croatia cut one back. But that's, that's what I'm expecting this game to be, to be like, man. You know, us going to halftime nil-nil and then El Tri busts it open. Let me know your predictions in the comments down below. Are you nervous? I know you are, baby. It's all good. We're going to be okay. Believe it, baby. Believe in these guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your predictions in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one.